Okay, we're here with Peter Vandere, and we're going to ask him a couple of questions about today's expo. Peter, good to see you uh, as always. Yeah, good to see you. Tell me why you're here today. Well, I lead the New York multifamily team at Marcus and Millichap, and we sell about uh, between 80 and 100 multifamily assets in New York City a year. So, you know, part of that is exposure, getting out, meeting new people, making sure that uh, people know who we are and uh, what, you know, what the state of the market is. And so that's part of my job. Explain uh, for the audience who's listening with the difference between multifamily uh, units versus the the residential because I think sometimes people kind of conflate you're, those you're, and, and yeah. get them mixed up. You're, a, you're asking me the cocktail party question when I say <laughs> hey, yes, we sell residential. So so multifamily is when, it, when you say that you mean that's a commercial investment and that means you're buying the entire building as opposed to residential, which is user, which could be co-ops and condos, which you know you are very very familiar with. So one to three families, four families, five families. Yeah, that that would qualify, but um, but uh, generally you're talking about uh, assets that are 20 units and above. Where is your sweet spot in that mix? So I run the team, uh, you know. So I run the team. Uh, we're I would say that our, the majority of our transactions are um, they're bet- they're around 20 million dollars. We cover the market that essentially is between 10 and 100 million dollars, which is where the majority of the middle market of New York City multifamily transactions occur. So that's our that's our space. Okay. So the million dollar question for the day okay. yeah. is. From your little world, your big world, what is your perception of the current marketplace? So the marketplace is completely in a transition right now because they changed the laws that determine how you run and operate um, about half of the rental stock in New York City. So that happened in June. So the market's adjusting to that. And, um, you know, so the one thing is, is that the prices have come down in that category anywhere from 20, 30, maybe in the extreme level, 40 percent. So um, chaos uh, creates a little opportunity and creates movement. So that's what's happening. And I think, uh, you know, I, I think this is going to be a topic that is going to evolve here. I think the legislation is going to ultimately evolve in New York. I don't know how long. Um, we're seeing it also kind of other markets around the country kind of touch in on this subject as well. So this is going to be something that, um, you know, the public and the private groups, you know, you know, are going to have to come together and figure out this is about housing. And, you know, my comment about this is that you don't have neighborhood, neighborhood revitalization without good housing. So what happened in Brooklyn doesn't happen unless you have housing stock uh, improve and you don't have improvement unless it's invested and upgraded. And that investment needs to come from somewhere. So that's my overall thought on, on this, is that um, you know, this is really the public and the private worlds coming together to provide better housing. Rental regulations, rental rule changes, as you just mentioned, have done a lot of things in both, mar- both yours and mine. Yeah. Uh, that's a longer conversation that you need to come yes. on my show to talk about, and I'm happy to have you. However, just a quick prediction of where you see us over the next uh, 12, 14, 15 months? I think that we're going to see uh, transactional velocity increase a little bit. I think for the first 90 to 120 days after the law passed, it really brought things back because people are trying to assess. I'm sensing that, um, you know, everyone has an opinion on this. Should I stay? Should I go? Should I, you know, adjust? Should I invest more? Should I pull money out? So, and that's very personal, but I think people now have had enough time to make that to start to make those decisions. So I think over the next 12 months, you're going to see a little more activity in the market. I think pricing is going to stay where it is. Peter Vandere, always a pleasure. Thank nice you so to much. See you, Vince. Thank you.